he goes, it's me, Herc. Just hold up my old man's house. Yeah. Hey, me goes. Pretty sure it's meant to keep the stupid in. I see you creeping around my property. You get over here before I pretend to be threatened. You're that crazy fool what been put in tow to Peggy ass, eh? You a registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Herc Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama-loving libtards find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back so I can start focusing on my campaign again. Nice dog. Junior! Someone's here to help you. Try not to fuck it up. Hey, man. Ah, oh, hey, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile-ness-ness. Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth, the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old man starts shooting. He's hotter than a ghost pepper these days. Nice clean headshot is pretty Santa Run's been real stressful right. on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Sometimes Doesn't he not have time to cut out for a shit? Gun it. Country. What's it like? Mm. Heard a lot about you, huh? That's cool, dude. Hey, it's cool, dude. I never was that popular in high school, but I'll tell you this. Ever since, man, I swear, it's like I'm the captain of the football team, lead cheerleader, and the principal rolling the one big fucking sleeping bag full of beer. What? No. I just heard you're always around when... What's that word? Insurrection happens. Well... On my way. Watch my back. Let's do this. Fuck that. Easy. Move it! It's gonna be fun, man! I'm about to go whinge on their ass. I like to cut your jib. You play your cards right, I might let you in on a little something I've been cooking up.
like frozen creds and Gilderstern over here. Man, I love the theater. <laughs> Hey, Miss Armstrong, did you really... Okay, man, now it's time for step four. Truck's actually all the way down yonder. Probably more Peggy's waiting for us, too. It's all about the zip line, man. We gonna zip line in there, sneak up on them like ninjas. Dude, you should hang out with my little cousin Sharky while you're in town. You met him yet, man? He is fucking good people. Yeah, his parents weren't around so much, so I basically raised him, man. He's kind of like my son in a way. I did a kick-ass job, too, man. He rocks it hard. Real into shooting guns, explosions, and slamming beers, and clams. <laughs> oh, man, second coolest dude in Hope County, probably. You'd like him. You drive better than you shoot. That was a joke. Breaking all my people skills. Oh man! Oh man, we got trouble. Reach into that there cooler. 
see if we have any cans of whoop ass left. And pass me a beer if there's one. in a goddamn pod. So now you want to hear what I have to say? Well, well, deputy, you kept your word. You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go, so I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn Monkey King no more. Second task is, uh, well, uh, you, you let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. Still alive. Damn straight, sister. Careful. Drubmans don't react well to surprises. They startle easily. As long as they ain't Eden's Gate, I'm okay with that. I just need to stop all these whack dogs. They're gonna have to up their game if they want to play with us. Solid work, Jess. Well, look here. It's my new campaign manager. my new campaign manager. Knew you had some sense. So, got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is, they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but... A permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best, if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around, because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. 
He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you waiting for? Get moving. Just more prepper shit by the looks of it. We got piggies. You earned that. Bam! Won't know what hit him. Too easy. Get the tombstones. They're already dead. You earned that. Too easy. Done and done. Canadians are also 
so pretty clumsy and not voting for me, but no pressure. Thank you. 